Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to create a clean and simple birthday card for you. Using this, I've got some smooth white cardstock, several dies, a sentiment stamp, a bit of vellum and some rose gold washi tape. My card today is going to be four by six inches approximately and I've got a panel that's going to go on the front to leave a nice border. And I'm going to use this spotty die from Sizzix to cut some holes in my panel. So this is going to be an aperture card. So I want that about there towards the left hand side because I want this to stay mostly empty. So the card is clean and simple. So there we go. We've got lots of little holes in the front of my card. Next, I'm going to take another piece of smooth white cardstock and it's going to go behind my panel. But to colour it, because I want some colour there, I'm going to add some washi tape. And all I want to do is just add some pencil marks to show me what area I need to cover. So I needed three strips of washi tape to cover the area that I wanted to cover. If you've got wide washi tape, that's even better because you only need to put down maybe one or two strips. And now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine with this embossing folder. So now I've got a really pretty pattern on there and it's disguised any imperfections and the lines in the washi tape. And I've chosen this quite intricate pattern that's got lots of small bits so that you do get a sense of texture when you look through the aperture. You can't really make sense of the pattern but you're seeing texture. So now what I want to do is add foam tape to the back of the front panel because I want a bit of a gap between the front and the back panel because that just creates lots of lovely depth and dimension. I've removed the release paper from all the foam tape and then all I need to do is pop this on the back. And now I'm just going to add, if I can get my glue to come out the glue bottle, some glue on the back and attach that to the front of my card. Now I'm going to die cut all the elements that I want. So I've got a postage stamp here. I'm going to cut that from vellum so that it's see-through. And I want one white butterfly. And I want a rose gold butterfly. So I'm going to put some more washi tape on some cardstock and die cut my butterfly from that. Of course, you don't have to use washi tape for this card. If you've got some foiled or any colour cardstock, you can use that instead. I haven't got any rose gold cardstock at the moment so washi tape is my next best option. Press that down, it will have been pressed down by the die cutting but this helps smooth out the any wrinkles and lines and things and you'd never know really looking at that that it was cut from a bit of cardstock that had three pieces of washi tape on it. Now I'm going to cut a banner and I want a banner for my birthday sentiment. This says, have a great birthday. So I'm going to stamp that out. I'm going to stamp a couple in case I mess one up. And I want to have my birthday sentiment up this end of the banner. So I'm going to line that up, hold it down with a bit of washi and then run it through my mini Gemini or Gemini mini. So what I want with this sentiment is I want to have it on top of the other banner and use the other banner a bit like a drop shadow like that so now I've got a really long sentiment piece but that's good because the butterfly is going to sit on top of that so now I'm going to put foam tape all the way along the back of this elongated banner and I'm going to pop this where I want it and this where I want it over the vellum postage stamp 
And I'm going to add a little bit of tape runner behind the banner to hold the vellum down. And you can't see that there. Now, before we do anything else, I'm just going to pop the butterfly. Actually, I think I'll make my butterfly fully before I do anything else. So I want to give my butterfly a white body so there is a bit of difference between the body and the wings of the butterfly. And I think the easiest way to do this is to cut the wings off of the white butterfly. So now I've just got body and antenna. And this is a bit fiddly, but I'm just gonna run this embossing tool around the edge of where I've cut so it looks less scissor cut and more die cut. And then I'm going to snip the antenna off of this one, put some glue on the back of the body, and then put the body on the wings. And now I'm going to put some glue on the back here. And so this doesn't end up sticking to my glass mat, I'm going to put it on the release paper of the foam tape and line up my butterfly so I can still read that sentiment, but it's coming out from underneath the butterfly. I might pop a little bit of glue on here as well, just to give me a little bit of wiggle room when I attach it. Now I'm going to use my T-square ruler to get this lined up nice and straight. I want the sentiment to be straight, really. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to add some little circles and I'm going to cut them from the remnants of this using this die. And I'm going to push down on them just to make sure that washi tape is really stuck. I'm not going to use all of these. Just a few. And then all we need is a little bit of glue and quite a lot of dexterity, which I don't actually have. Because these are so tiny, go pick them up, pop them in the glue, and then add them here and there. You can add them on top of the vellum postage stamp. And adding the dots from the die that you used to cut. The aperture is a really nice way of altering the pattern slightly, elongating it or widening, widening it and making it unique really and a way of connecting the foreground to the background I think. And there we have a clean and simple, relatively mess free, quick and easy birthday card. I hope you like the card and that the video has given you some ideas. If it has, do leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all the good things, and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.